Okay, we are going to read through our second um, assessment on World War One. It says CFA World War One. Put your name and your block up there, and if you want to put the date there, that's great. It's probably 1112 or 1113, but if not, that's okay too. And here's the scale, as you've been seeing. Remember, level three is that grade level. And let's look through the vocab. This is uh, nine questions here that you'll have right away. And these are um, those basic terms. So you have trench warfare, alliances, League of Nations, imperialism, assassination, Treaty of Versailles, nationalism, total war, and militarism. Okay, and I think I may have mentioned militarism as the last one there. And number one says, extreme patriotism, pride, or love of one's country. Extreme patriotism, pride, or love of one's country. So remember, you want to pause this recording. You know, if I go too fast, come back to it, however you want to use it. But definitely use it. I think it's helpful. Number two, when one country takes over another for colonies, land, resources. Number three, murder of a major leader or important person. Number four, when countries join together for each other's benefit. Number five, agreement that ended World War One. And I'll read the terms again. You have trench warfare, alliances, League of Nations, imperialism, assassination, Treaty of Versailles, Nationalism, total war, militarism. Number six, when a country's army and navy become very powerful and expensive. Number seven, when all of a country's resources were dedicated to the war effort. When all of a country's resources were dedicated to the war effort. Number eight, a new strategy where soldiers dug down to escape weapon fire. Number nine, group of countries dedicated to maintaining peace. Okay, for this next one, you're putting at least two central powers and at least three allied powers here. Uh, so at least two over here, at least three over there. And probably, you know, you don't want to try to do more because you might get some wrong. So you don't have to use all these terms in the word bank or these countries. You have Russia, France, Germany, Austria-Hungary, Ottoman Empire, which is Turkey, Great Britain, United States, or Serbia. Okay, so we're looking at the level threes, and here's where you want to make sure you use really as detailed answers as you can. Use historical events, what was going on during World War II. So this question says, use the following below. You got militarism, alliances, imperialism, nationalism, assassination. So basically you're picking three of these, and you're saying how they led to World War I. It's just that simple. But when you do so, you're going to want to think about using some sort of event that actually happened. So maybe you put militarism, and then you tell an event, and like an example of militarism, and then how that led to war. You remember, you don't want to end your description here of how it led to war with war, right? So somebody declaring war on somebody, something like that, okay? So you do that three times. Your answers need to include historical events and countries. Okay, for this next section, I think you guys will do well on this. You have um, 
two boxes here. In one of them, you can pick it over here. You write in either some sort of weapon or strategy. Here you put some sort of weapon or strategy. So you could use a strategy here, a strategy here, a weapon, a weapon, one of each. Doesn't matter. But you need to describe it. Like what was it? Okay, like if the technology I'm talking about is a toaster, I need to tell what a toaster is. That would be a terrible example, though. Don't do that. And then what impact did it have on the war? And we're thinking kind of like large scale. Like how did it change the war, the way the war looked? Or did it bring in other countries? Or what was its impact of this strategy or technology? Something here. Not just that it killed people. That's what every weapon is designed to do. So it needs to be more than that. So do that twice. So a strategy, which really means what... Um, or strategy or technology, and what we really mean by that is weapon. Here and here. Then describe one political impact of World War I. Having to do with government, borders, laws, rights, those type of things. So we're talking about political impact. And be specific, you know, use country names. Don't just say they or somebody. One social impact having to do with people, their feelings, their daily lives. How did this war impact them or how did this war change them? Describe one economic impact of World War I having to do with money. All right, level four, and I'm really, everybody should work on this. It's a, I think it's a really interesting one for you. It's uh, So your level four says, without alliances, would there have been a world war? And you can take this just about any way you want. You could say yes, no, in the middle. You could describe all kinds of different things. Use your knowledge. So you need to use evidence and examples like about World War I to, tell, to answer that question. Without those alliances that we talked about in those level twos, those countries coming together, would there have been a world war?